Um, yeah, greetings, greetings, greetings. Greetings. Wait, wait, am I gonna start the theme song? Oh, you gotta be kidding me on my butt. Wait. Wait, how do I... Oh, fuck. Oh, that's right, I have to... Wait, I got a screen share while you're sharing the audio? Of course, I have to do it every time now. Okay, share audio. Well, well time to do it. Whatever. I'm going to share the audio. One, two, three, go. Yes, 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 oh yes, it is I, Avi Arad, and welcome to back to the awesome program that is the Avi Arad Show. Yeah, and uh, let me let me let me t let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something right now. So, I was, like, coming over, just, you know, just, just actually just coming over to the, with the Sony Pictures offices, drinking my cup of coffee out there, and my buddy named Paul W.S. Anderson, uh, as of right now, actually, uh, emailed me by saying, dude, there's this guy called, called Josiah Rises from Geeks and Gamers. And he thinks that the Monster Hunter movie looks good. I mean, keep in mind, he said the movie is going to be good. But the movie, unfortunately, is he, it's probably going to be woke according to this guy. And I was like, dude, you make some awesome female movies. How, how, how would you, how would you want to make it woke? Especially, a company out there that is anti woke. We're the anti woke of all Hollywood companies. We don't have any agendas out there. This ain't the Amy Pascal era. No, 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 no. This is the Tom Rothman era. And in the Tom Rothman era, anything goes. It's called being very conservative and, you know. Pricey. So yeah, we don't have any agendas out there in Hollywood. But nevertheless, I may as well go to watch this video that Josiah Rises uh, made. And after and after I watch this uh, particular stream, I will I would actually go with my reasonings on why I think this movie. Will never, ever, 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 ever be woke. Okay? It will never, ever, ever be woke. Because guess what? I'm going to screen share this video. Ah. <sighs> Let me see here. Monster Hunter looks good so far, but it will probably be ruined by woke nonsense. You know, you know, you know I'm getting some Robert Storms vibes over there. I'm just getting some Robert Storms vibe again. I don't know why, but I'm just getting some Robert Storms vibe. Maybe it's just me. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't fucking know for sure. L let's take a look at what this shit is. I'm not going to lie, I'm getting pretty excited for this Monster Hunter movie, but of course there is still a small part in the back of my mind that's telling me don't get too excited about this, Josiah, because as we all know, this is a film that's being made by Hollywood, and it has a strong female character in it. And well, of course it does, because it does have a strong female character. And, uh, 
To be honest with you, I think, I think she looks hot in this picture. What does Hollywood like to do with movies? Any movie that has a strong female character in it, they like to politicize it. They well, I don't think this movie is going to be politicized, but, uh, well, then again, it's Hollywood, so, but then again, Sony is anti wokeist Like to use it as nothing more than a political tool. Well, not in case of Sony, because we've learned that already. Well, Charlie's Angels, uh, well, that's a piece of crap. But who gives a shit? That, that, that was a movie that, that, that Sony doesn't want anyways. And I kind of have a feeling that this might end up being what they do with Monster Hunter, just because that's what Hollywood does with pretty much every movie that has a strong female character in it. And I just hope that that doesn't, that, that isn't the case. That that isn't what happens with this movie because they have a good thing going here. The, the art design looks good. The actual aesthetic of the film looks fantastic. And I can't wait I agree. to see what they're going to do with this. And honestly, Monster Hunter, the movie, could be absolutely fantastic. That is a very rich world that they can, can that they could really explore in detail and depth. They could be some this could be something really huge and successful, but it all depends on how they handle it. How they handle having these uh, strong female characters in the movie and how they're going to be presenting that to us. And if they're going to be putting story and character first over political nonsense. So hopefully it's not going to be too political with monster hunter because uh, I, I, I know this director for many years and both the movie scene making he, I'm pretty sure something like this will never, ever, ever happen. So yeah. Monster Hunter movie posters, they, they just released these and they look pretty cool. Like seriously, I this ah this looks awesome. I I really, really want to be excited for this movie. Um like seriously, everything about this poster is just it it honestly is giving it me a little bit of, of the chills right now just because I, I really want this to be good. I'm not even a big fan of the Monster Hunter game, really. It's just it's it's not really my type of game. But I love Well, to be honest with you, I uh I sort of know about the Monster Hunter video game franchise, but like you said, I never played the games myself, but I did play Metal Gear Solid, so I am producing that one. I love that world that they created with that game, and I think that that world has a lot of potential to be on the big screen as well as being the video game as well. And then obviously we see here he has a big ass bow right here. Um, and you know, both of the, both of these posters are great. They both look awesome. I love the sword design. I love everything about these posters, everything. And I want this movie to be good. I really, really do. And it has the potential to be good. This movie could be a huge thing if they actually just focus on trying to tell a good story. Don't get too crazy with it. You know, we've, we've been having some video game movies coming out that have been good, like Pokemon Detective Pikachu and so, and uh, Sonic and some of these movies. Um, so, you know, there, there's potential here. There's potential here. Um, even Tomb Raider wasn't really all that bad, to be honest. So, you know, I guess we, we've had at least one strong female character come out already that wasn't really that terrible in her movie. So, you know, there there's definitely potential here. Uh, you know, I... I I don't mind having strong female characters. That's not my problem here. Oh, really? You see, you, you 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 say you don't have strong female characters, even though uh, I, I did hear from Levon said that uh, in some of your videos you you use the strong female character thing as a I don't know, you use a woke agenda. I don't fucking know. I don't know too much of the side right. So I just look look people. I'm just I'm just guessing. Okay, I'm just guessing. My problem is that it continues to get politicized almost every single time it's with a strong female character comes out. That's my problem with it. I know that's a lot of what your guys' problems with it is. We don't have a problem with strong female characters. We don't have a problem with, with uh, you know, this at all. This right here. Nobody has a problem with this. <laughs> it's just how they handle it. That is all that we are worried about, the execution of it. Well, at least you don't have that problem with that PG-13 logo that is on the left, so. So, I don't know. There really isn't too much um, There really isn't too much information about this movie yet. I believe that there was a trailer that leaked at one point, so that might be able to still be found somewhere. I'm not sure. But it um, looks like there's some set photos here, too. Um, oh, yeah. We, we've seen some of these before. So... Is this from Monster Hunter? 
Huh. I didn't think that there was like vehicles and tanks and stuff and and uh monster hunter, but uh maybe maybe there is. I don't know. So anyway, um I I guess this is from Monster Hunter. She's she's tagging it right here. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Are you excited for this movie? Do you think that there is potential? Oh hell for this yeah. Movie? I oh hell a yeah! Lot of potential for this movie. It's all about how they handle it. So Hollywood, if you want to have a successful movie on your hands and you want people to actually want to go support it, don't mess up. So hope you guys enjoy, <laughs> and I'll talk to you all very soon in another video. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay, I'm done with this video. I'm just gonna be done with it because, um, I don't expect I didn't expect myself to. Uh, be a bit quiet on this video, to be honest with you. And uh, I don't expect myself to not say anything. But the thing I'm going to gonna rant on is the fact that um, <clears throat> they're never ever going to put the woke agendas in. So you're not going to worry about that. Um, yeah, you're not going to worry about too much of... Uh, the woke agendas in the movie, because Paul W. S. Anderson was most notable for making terrible films, but not in a political way. Luckily, maybe in like oh the secret government type of way, and not the whole oh I'm a woman I'm a feminist type of thing. Hopefully that is not not his style. I mean that would be too far off from his from his story and directing style. That would be way too off of the of the spectrum. So, yeah. You know, come to think of it. Whatever, whatever. I don't even know what to do. It's like, I, I made this live stream all for nothing now. Not just I made this live stream all for nothing, but I made this live stream because I want to see if if I could if I could just if I could rip off a new leaf on the next Robert Storms, but that never happened. Instead, I just didn't get jack shit, S except for like one advice that I will never be woke. Oh, who cares? It's, I don't even know anymore. <sighs> Man. But Josiah Rice is, is wrong, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. <sighs> I wish it was like April Fool's Day so I could just do something like a stunt, but no, it's February. And I'm not sure what I'm doing in February, and I'm still filming my uh, Venom 2 movie. And I'm busy. I'm so busy doing Venom. I'm taking a break on filming because, you know, filming's not there right now. Monster Hunter will be good. It will be a damn good movie. I'm hoping it will make a billion dollars. If it didn't make a billion dollars, then I'll say 500 then. But who knows. Uh, whatever. What I'm going to say right now is, um... Yeah, Monster Hunter would be, would be awesome. It will never, ever, ever going to be woke. Josiah Rises is wrong. Sony will never, ever let that happen. Tom Ruffer will never ever let that happen. And yeah, that's that's the point. That is totally the point that I'm trying to get at. And you know what? I'm gonna give you my reasons on why Monster Hunter will never be woke. Number one is the director. Paul W. S. Anderson made like a lot of video game movies, most of the way for the Resident Evil movies and the, the more well one more combat film, of course, because he didn't direct the sequel. And maybe some other films. And most notably, his movies are just unwokable, as you will. They're very unwokable. And the reason why I said they're very unwokable is because of not just his only his directing style, but also the fact that uh, he isn't the type of person that want everything to be woke. He's pretty much the anti-woke of all people, if you know what I'm trying to get at. So that's so that's how um you know thrown the towel. The second reason is uh the studio that actually works on the movie. 
Sony. Yes, they have a history of woke, woke past. They do. Um, they did it when... Uh, I'm going to say they tried to did it when 2015 was around. When the Ghostbusters movie came in. When Ghostbusters flop, they backed themselves into the corner and realized, dude, we're never ever going to do this woke shit ever again. And if we're going to do that... It, 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 we're not going to market it too much. And that Charlie Angel movie, for instance, they didn't market that movie too much. They know it's a failure anyways. And that's just actually one of the last ideas that Pascal left behind. And that reboot idea just went down the tubes. And it 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 really shows, okay? It like really shows that 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 it just went down the frickin' tubes. Oh, and reason number three is because because Sony doesn't have this woke agenda. Um, the only company that has this woke agenda that we're currently in a watch right now has to be Funimation. That company over there is not only one of the most disgusting, sorry excuse of a company that I ever visited, but also when I visited the company, when Sony brought it over, what they did is, uh, oh god, it was not good at all. Like, it wasn't so good whatsoever. I, I even checked it, too. Like, sometimes I checked it. And I wasn't too happy. I was like, you know, guys, you can do whatever you want. I'll just do my own thing. Guess what they did? They fucked up. They fucked it up uh, a year ago when the Vic Mignon situation comes in. I had to defend him. I really have to come out and defend the man. Because, holy shit, it was bad. They fired him for no reason. They, did, they decided to pull the same bullshit that the Amy Pascal does it. Sony wasn't too happy. They were not happy behind the scenes. They were they were angry at Funimation. Even with this acquisition, it, it will cost the company real, a lot of money. So the parent is angry at them. And they're thinking of merging Aniplex and Funimation to one new company. That's what I'm hearing right now. They're they're really thinking of making a major, um, let's just say a major shakeup is going to happen. Let let's just let's just put it out there: a major shakeup is ever going to happen. And what they're going to do is that they're going to, uh, yeah, they're not. They're just basically going to like said. You know what? We're just we're just going to may have a main check up because they because Sony both owns Aniplex and Funimation. I was the head of production IG for the Ghost in the Shell stuff, and right now I we're currently working with the Metal Gear Solid movie, the one that I've been trying to do for many years now, and a director I've been working with for five years. And uh, I, I, I just uh, give my uh, OD for Kojima, and you know I praise this new game. And uh, yeah, this is bad. You know, this is. T I mean, I felt very sorry for Kojima during the whole Konami incident of 2014. Uh, So, so sorry, that was that was little Fonz's mom just asking about, you know, not saying all that, but which reminds me, um I don't have much time to myself. So uh I'll just end this live stream just with uh a good night, good luck and yeah. I don't have any serious to say anyway, so yeah.